I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and I'd like to welcome you to this video where we're going to take a look first at how to initialize a router, which is a fancy way of saying we're going to erase the startup config, and then what happens when we reload that router and what choices we're going to have to make about whether we want to go into setup mode and perhaps even more importantly how to get out of setup mode once you're in it. So again, obviously these are things we're only going to do in a lab environment. And the first thing there is to do a write erase. And we're immediately given a prompt, you know, you're going to erase all the files in NVRAM. Do you want to do those? You want to watch your prompts in Cisco because sometimes if you hit the enter key, it's going to go ahead and do something. Because here I'm only given one choice, and that is confirm. So if I don't want to confirm, I need to put in something else, hit an N. But if I hit enter, which I'm going to do, it's going to go ahead and perform that erase and give me a message. So this will just take a few seconds in this particular case. And then we will reload the router with the reload command. And there we go. We get a message that says, OK, your erase of NVRAM is complete. So let's go ahead and do a reload. And we need to confirm again. And in a LAM environment, this is a great thing to do because different routers and different models are going to give you different information as they load up. But here you can see, you know, here's the bootstrap version. That's not the iOS version, by the way. That is the bootstrap version. And you can actually see the iOS image file later. But there's an interesting message that you get right off the bat. NVRAM invalid. That tends to make it sound like it's been corrupted somehow if you don't read the rest of it. And if you do read the rest of it, possibly due to write erase, what they mean is NVRAM is actually empty. So don't get thrown by NVRAM invalid. And we get some technical information here, and some technical warnings, I should say. And the boot process is going to continue. It always takes twice as long when we actually watch it, which is what we're doing here. Let me scroll up a bit here. Yeah, nothing really else to see there outside of the NVRAM invalid. And we'll just wait for a prompt that we are hopefully going to get here pretty shortly. This is about the time you start hitting the enter key to make it go faster, you know, like you do with an elevator. <laughs> when you need it to come faster, just keep hitting the button. So there's some more information about our interfaces, hardware revisions, how much memory we have, that kind of thing. And pretty shortly, I think we're going to get a prompt. Hope so. Anyway, here we go. System configuration dialog. Now you'll notice here that it gives me a YN prompt or yes, no prompt. And if I just hit the enter key when that happens, as you can see, it's going to say, please answer yes or no. Do you want to enter the initial configuration dialog? Well, that sounds so innocent. Absolutely, I want to. Let's hit Y for yes. And you get some information here that some people read, some people don't. And I would read this if I were you while it's on the screen for a moment. But do I want to go into basic management setup? Sure, why not? So I go in there, and it wants me to enter a host name for the router, and it'll show you the default, and then it's going to make you set an enable secret password. But let's say you don't want to set one, so I'll hit the escape key, or I'll hit enter, and I, I have to set one. No defaulting allowed. So I'll just go ahead and put one, and you know we never use this one. <laughs> uh, then it's going to make you set an enable password, whether you want to or not. So, you know, you get smart and you say, well, I'll just put the same password in. Well, as you can see, you're not going to be able to do that either. So I'll put in phone. Now it's going to make you set a VTY password. Well, maybe you don't want one yet. And you hit enter, and it's not going to let you get around that. So I'll just go ahead and put something else here. And do you want to configure SNMP? The default is yes, I'm going to say no. And now it's going to start asking you questions about the interfaces. It gives you a summary. It's about this time that a lot of people say, you know, I'd really rather just configure it from the command line. And even if you like setup mode, you still need to know how to get back to the regular prompt and not save this configuration. That's why I mentioned to you earlier that it's a good idea to read this because a lot of people get to this point and they say, you know, I really want to get out of this and they hit escape and they type exit and nothing works. Well, here's a keystroke that you should know for your exams and you should know it for production work as well. 
Use Control C to abort configuration dialog at any prompt. So if I hit Control C right now, hopefully, notice that message as soon as I hit it, configuration aborted, no changes made. And what's going to happen is here in a few in a few moments, I actually press return to get started, which I did early. That's why you heard the beep. And I just hit it again, and it's going to drop me right at the prompt in a moment. And you'll notice the default name is router. And if I do an end there and do a show config, it's not present yet. If I do a write and save it, it's going to come up, and nothing will be set yet. The only thing that's going to be set, actually nothing will be set yet. I haven't even configured a router name yet. So that is how to erase the config on a Cisco router. Uh, you probably already knew how to reload it simply with the word reload. We got to watch the boot process. But also, the most important thing of all, you know what happens when it comes up without anything in NVRAM. It's going to prompt you to go into setup mode. And even more importantly, now you know how to get out of setup mode as well. Thanks for watching this video out at the website, www.thebryantadvantage.com. I'll even type that in for you. I've got over 250 now free tutorials, videos just like this one for everything from CSENT studies all the way through your CCNP exams. So come on out to the website. I will see you there. Again, thanks for your time. I'm Chris Bryant, CCI, number 12933.